You're watching France 24. Hello and welcome to Focus. It was supposed to be the flagship project that secured France's future when it comes to the business of nuclear energy. But instead, it's been delayed several times and costs have risen dramatically. Today, we're looking at the building of a new nuclear reactor by the French company Areva in Finland. It was the first nuclear power plant to be commissioned in Europe since the Chernobyl disaster in 1986. And Areva still hopes it will become a showcase for France's nuclear industry. But so far, things aren't quite going to plan, as France 24 found out during a visit to the Finnish site. This quiet corner of rural Finland is seeing the dawn of a new nuclear renaissance. Or at least that was the hope when the French company Areva started work on the most powerful nuclear reactor ever built. Cheaper, safer and more efficient was the promise. It was supposed to be ready last year, but it now looks like construction may take four years longer than planned. Double the amount of time Areva originally promised to Finland's energy supplier's TVO. The delay is of course very unfortunate. We are very disappointed about it. It causes uh, us also uh, costs and extra work. Because of these delays, the plant could end up costing almost 6 billion euros, twice the original price tag. And Finland is blaming Areva, saying the company has hired inexperienced workers, an argument the two companies will now have to settle in court. In the beginning, they had issues with the quality of concrete of the base slab, so the foundations of the, of the plant. Then when they started the welding activities at site, they had challenges meeting the criteria for welding processes. After pressure from the media, those problems have now been solved. But commentators in Finland say Arriva, keen to sell its new technology around the world, was simply too ambitious with the budget. It was very important to Arriva because no reactors had, had been done for a long time. So they wanted to have it So and, and they, they gave very good terms, too to good. But Areva is adamant that corners should not be cut. This so-called EPR plant is designed to last at least 60 years, longer than any existing nuclear power station. And this almost indestructible double dome around the reactor is strong enough to withstand earthquakes and can even remain intact if a plane crashes into it. If Chernobyl had been built this way, says Areva, the radioactive fallout would have been contained. In the whole Europe, this is the first EPR we are building. This is really a first of a kind. And uh, we want to be sure that this plant, at the end of it, at the end of the day, will be uh, safe and reliable. If that does prove to be the case, Arriva hopes this station will attract the attention of countries hoping to produce electricity with lower CO2 emissions. But whether the plant does become a showcase for the rebirth of France's nuclear industry will only be clear once it's actually finished. Joining us now for more is Yves Marignac from Wise Paris. It's an agency looking into the energy and nuclear industry. Welcome to France 24 and to Focus. Hello. What's your opinion, first of all? What brought about these delays and cost overruns and, and who's to blame, essentially? Well, Areva is to blame for its... Uh overconfidence in, in uh, being able to build this reactor at reasonable cost and in reasonable delays. I mean, mm -hmm. obviously, the experience shows that Arriva was not able to do so, but uh, on, on a broader, um, uh, uh, I mean, the, the, the whole French nuclear industry uh, is responsible, and that includes the French state that supports uh, this industrial strategy uh, is responsible for uh, making uh, a strategic mistake, mm -hmm. probably uh, with the EPR. I mean, it's uh, uh, the, the the French industry was uh, overconfident in anticipating a nuclear renaissance that does not materialize. It was uh, overconfident in thinking that the EPR would be uh, the uh, best reactor for that market, and it was overconfident in its ability to build uh, this reactor 
at reasonable cost. Uh, let's come back to those wider issues in a moment. But if we look at the Finnish case, who, who's going to pay for it? Is it going to be Areva or is it going to be the, the, the Finnish uh, well, energy company, Areva here, TVO? Is going to, Areva is going to pay for it because it's a turnkey contract. Uh, Areva sold this uh, reactor at 3 billion euros. Mm. Uh, it's now uh, tagged for 6 billion euros at least. And, and the story is still going, of course. So Areva uh, is going to make a massive loss. Areva, out of Areva this one. is going to make a massive loss. It could be even uh, higher because of the the case being settled in court between TVO, the uh, Finnish operator, and Areva, uh, on the fact that TVO makes losses because the EPR is not ready in time. I mean, uh, TVO has to to buy electricity from elsewhere, and they they sued Areva for. Uh, uh, for this this loss, so it's it could be two billion mm -hmm. euros more. So Arriva could end uh, with between eight or ten billion euros for a, a turnkey contract of three billion. So wow. that's massive losses. What what about the wider issue then? What does this mean for France's nuclear export industry? Will France be able to to to, to export more nuclear reactors, seeing all of these problems with the EPR? Well, uh, it, it, it's not likely that France could uh, meet its uh, promises of uh, exporting massive, uh, massive loads of uh, EPRs. I mean, you have to look back at history, and France wanted to, to export as many reactors at, as it would build in France. Mm -hmm. uh, we have 58 reactors, and uh, the industry before the EPR could only export nine reactors. Uh, so there was a first failure at that time in the 70s and 80s, and it's it's likely that uh, it's going to be the same with the EPR. And again, that's because uh, France took its uh, uh, its uh, dreams of nuclear renaissance and the EPR being the best technology. Uh, for granted. I mean, so you're basically saying that even the French government, perhaps, they were a little bit too naive in thinking that this could be. I mean, we often hear from the French government side that the, the nuclear industry is one of the key industries. It's the future, basically, of, of uh, the French economy, or at least parts of uh, it. There's, there's so much uh, financial, politic uh, investment in nuclear technology, in nuclear industry, and in that strategy in France that uh, it's very difficult to face facts when they are not, uh, um, when, when they don't fit mm -hmm. uh, promises. I mean, the, the whole nuclear strategy from France is based on the idea that uh, EPR is the best technology, that it's the safest reactor, that it's competitive, and that there's a broad market worldwide. And all of those assumptions turn wrong right now. All right. Uh, very interesting discussion indeed. Unfortunately, though, we're going to have to, to wrap it up there. Thanks very much, uh, Yves Marignac much. from Wise Paris, for speaking to us today. And with that, we're going to wrap up Focus. Thanks indeed for watching France 24.